Hi everyone, it is Tuesday. I've just got back from doing a school run and I thought to myself, do I really want to deny you the privilege of seeing the new desk in the studio for a couple more days? And I thought, no, I'm gonna do the video a different style for you. So I'm gonna do it vlog style and show you what's happened so far and what's in progress. Now you'll see over there, this is sort of still being set up. This is the new desking area in the studio. It's still a complete mess over in this area here. And I'm going to do a little bit more tidying up. I've also got something extra to install over in this area. Today is also the day that I'm expecting delivery of the 2013 Mac Pro. If that does happen, then I will probably do the unboxing tomorrow so that I can do a decent unboxing for you. So let's get on with the rest of the day. So here it is. I thought it would just be really nice to show you the work in progress. This is by no means finished yet, but primarily most of the bits and pieces are set up here and it creates a really clean setup. Now, I'll tell you a little bit more about the desk in a short while and also explain why I went for this particular one. But just down here, I'll just show you, this is sort of in progress as well. This is a promise system. This is the Pegasus 2 R4 and that contains eight terabytes of storage. It's in a RAID 5 configuration. So I've got six terabytes of usable storage on there. And then that's my previous sort of Thunderbolt uh, drive. That's the Western Digital one. This is a uh, Thunderbolt 2. So this is gonna work with the new Mac Pro when it arrives. And then we've got the chair, which you've seen before, my orange chair. And then this is the desk. And let me just move this chair out of the way properly. This is uh, gonna actually have some uh, lights attached to the back, which hopefully, if I get them working today, I'll show you them within this same video. And this is the Blue Lounge Studio Desk. Now, I went for this one because I'm gonna keep it very, very clean in the studio. When I change the editing room desk, it's gonna be quite different. So uh, this particular one, I just wanted something very, very unique, and I absolutely love it. Let me just show you a little bit of the detail. If you look sort of on this corner here, very, very clean lines on the desk. Really, really nice. And it's got some great features, this desk. It's got solid mahogany legs, really solid build and construction. And then if I come over to this area here, you can see my trackpad, Logitech trackpad, and also my Logitech solar keyboard. I can never remember the model number of this. The K750, that is, that's the K750 keyboard. So that sits on top of this black pad. Now you don't have to have the black pad on the desk. I'm gonna show you what makes this desk very, very special indeed. Now if I pull this section out, and it comes quite a long way out, there we go. And then if you look inside, this is what makes this desk very unique indeed. All of your bits and pieces, including, you can see in there the Mac Mini, I'm gonna actually be propping it up in a different manner because it's sort of at an angle at the moment, which isn't ideal. It's okay though, because it's got solid state drive in it. It's not gonna move anywhere. But everything is plugged in in here. And then there's a cable outlet. I'm not sure if I can get the camera down that low. But there's a cable outlet out the back. There's also cable outlets in the corner. And the idea being everything plugs in inside the desk. You don't have to worry about it being a bit of a mess. Even all the USB uh, bits plug into the back of your Mac Mini as well, which I've still got to do. And then the single power outlet cable goes out in whatever corner you want and then plugs into your mains. And then you slide this back in like so. And it creates just a very, very clean setup. And then you've got this slot at the back of the desk and all of your peripherals can come out of the, these slots really, really neatly. You can see here I've got my Thunderbolt display uh, power connector there, so I can still charge my uh, Retina MacBook Pro when I place it on the desk here. So that is what makes this desk really very special. And then the only other bits I've got on the top of the desk are the Ruark M1 speakers, left and right. My Thunderbolt display, I've got a little Apple here. This is a little light up Apple. I've shown you this in a previous video. That was a gift to me from my son. I think it just looks nice on the desk. And as I say, today uh, you're seeing this work in progress because I'm gonna try and install some LED lights at the back and possibly even install some lights in here as well. So you wouldn't really want the lights on all the time while you're working because that's gonna reflect up on the screen. So I might not do that. I might just put them at the back. But I think it looks really very nice. If I just 
come back and give you a full sort of uh, view of it from here. Really very nice indeed, a very, very clean setup. And as I say, I went for this because it fits within that space. I use this area just for presenting and the editing room is where I do the bulk of my sort of business work as such. So that's gonna be a very different desk, which is still not been delivered. But there you go, that's what it looks like so far. And I'll give you another look a little bit later on once everything's powered on and in place. So that's the LED lights installed on the back of the desk. And I'll show you these again when it's a little bit darker, but I just wanted to show you that these are the LED light strips from Philips, part of the Philips Hue range. So I've got control with my iPhone. You can see the app here. And as I drag around the control, I can actually change the lighting color and also the intensity as well. So I can turn them up brighter or make them dimmer and it's just really cool, very, very cool control. But as I say, I'll show you these again when it's a little bit darker uh, later on today. So, on with the installation. Now, another thing I'm going to install in here, uh, I know you can't see the inside of the desk very well from that angle, but I'm going to install this. This is the Anker 5 port wall charger that I showed you in a previous video. And the reason I'm going to install this in here is because then I can have things like this, this is like a micro USB, or I'm gonna get an extra lightning connector as well, and I can have those poking out of these side sections. So that's the intention with this. And I think it's just a really neat solution because I can then charge things through those slots on the desk and not have to worry about finding a cable, or indeed even this, the Logitech trackpad, that needs charging every now and again and once I've got this anchor charger plugged in in here then I will be able to charge things very very easily indeed. And I've also got some cable tidies that I'm going to just tidy up the cables in here as well. But it's looking really good so far. I've got some cables here, I don't even know where these came from. Oh that's the, so I've got here the Lexar memory card reader, so I can plug that <coughs> into the back of the Mac Mini. And if I run out of any space on the Mac Mini, I can uh, come out of the back here and plug into the USB hub on the back of the monitor. So this is a micro USB, so I'm going to pop that into that socket there. And then I think this is my charging area over here, so I'm going to have that one just coming up there. It's gonna look weird actually, having all of these little tiny connectors coming up there, but it is convenient, so that's why I'm doing it. So now it's just a matter of tidying up some more of the wires underneath the desk, so I'm gonna get that done next. So it is now mid-afternoon, and if you take a sneaky look over there, you will see the new Mac Pro. It's finally arrived after all that wait. Now, I'm super excited. I was a little bit disappointed because the outer packaging was damaged, but Apple do a brilliant job of packing their product, so no damage to the actual Mac Pro. I'm not gonna show you it again in this video because I don't wanna uh, spoil the unboxing and also just the, the sort of excitement that I've got for it. I wanna really sort of uh, talk more about it in my initial impressions video, which will come up later in the week. And also, coming up in the next couple of weeks, plenty of Mac Pro coverage, of course, including some really cool accessories that I got in to complement the Mac Pro. Now, lots of you saw that I tweeted out a picture, actually it was an Instagram picture that also went out on Twitter of the Mac Pro arriving, and you're already asking, when's the review gonna be? Where's your review? Well, I take my time with reviews. I like to test the Mac Pro very, very thoroughly before offering my final opinion on it. So for those of you asking, show a little bit of patience. It's gonna be about two weeks uh, before you get my final review on the 2013 Mac Pro. So now I've just gotta wait for the sun to go down so I can show you the desk lighting.
know it's been a busy day, but I absolutely love the new desk setup. I really like the Blue Lounge Studio desk. I absolutely adore the Philips Hue LED light strip. I love just sitting here playing with the app and uh, just changing the colors. It's absolutely fantastic. Set them to full brightness, wow. It just really does make me smile when it all looks so clean and crisp. I've thoroughly enjoyed today, even though I'm absolutely shattered. I hope you've enjoyed the video. I will be doing a full studio tour and a full editing room tour soon. So do stay tuned for that. If you've enjoyed this video, hit the like button and I'll see you all again in tomorrow's video. Thanks so much for watching the video. If you'd like to watch another amazing video from me, please do click that top box. And if you want to subscribe to my geeky channel, click the red box on the bottom of your screen now. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.